I'm working with black-crested gibbons uh, and fierce leaf monkeys in China. These are uh, two species of primates. The gibbons are critically endangered and the leaf monkeys are, I guess, just regular endangered. The gibbons are kind of your, your classic uh, arm-swinging monkey bar type of primate. Um, they have very long arms and they uh, tend to move through a um, forest that will have a, maybe a broader uh, diameter branch. Um, so they might be a bit more um, might, might prefer a certain kind of forest that's a little bit different from the leaf monkey, which is a quadruped. Um, so they're, they're typically arboreal, but they're um, at ease moving on the ground. Because I'm working with genetic data um, for a lot of these animals that are, are very reclusive, it can be difficult to get a hold of a large number of samples because not many of them have been studied. So what we're able to do is we're working with a scat detecting dog. Uh, that was trained in China by some of the local police dog base uh, there that um, is, has been trained to, to actually identify scat from these two species of monkeys as opposed to all other scats. So we can walk around in these forests where we know the animals are um, and find a large number of, of samples with ease. We'll have a rough idea of where we want to walk from the campsite. And then walking towards that area, um, I'll, I'll have the dog out in front of me uh, and then we'll have, and then he'll as he's walking by a scat, if he gets a, a scent of it, um, he'll approach it and start sniffing and, and discerning whether it's from the target species or whether it's from a different species. And then um, we've trained him to just kind of lay down and put his paws on, on either side of the scat and then he'll have a, a big wagging tail and um, go over and reward him with a, with a tennis ball. Basically these, these dogs are very high energy dogs. Uh, in general, and they have a very strong play drive with an object orientation. So we can manipulate this, this desire to, where the dog wants nothing more than to play with the tennis ball to have an association between getting the tennis ball and finding the scat. Now, on the whole, it's, it's been a very rewarding experience, and, and I certainly feel very lucky. Um, you know, having the opportunity to go to, to the other side of China isn't something that a lot of foreigners and, and Americans are able to see. Uh, some of the small villages I've been to, you know, the, the people have, you know, been, everyone has been very kind and, and um, welcoming me into their homes and, and, and living together with them and, you know, telling me that they haven't seen a foreigner in 30 years. Um, so not, not just as an opportunity for me and, and as a cultural experience, but it's also a, just a wonderful um, role as a cultural ambassador uh, to, um, to in, inform each other um, about, about what our, our different cultures are like. Um, and it, in addition to that, it's just you know a lot of a lot of beautiful hiking. Um, some of the some of the finest forests that you know um, I've ever had a chance to see. And these these you know hear the calls of uh, these last few gibbons uh, in in the forest has been a, a wonderful thing.